Today, we heard from Governor Tate Reeves on COVID-19 in his first coronavirus briefing in nearly a month. 12 News' Alex Love was there when the governor talked about the record hospitalizations and plans to vaccinate those most at risk. Alex? Yeah, there's a lot coming out of 2020 that had to be addressed. December was one of the deadliest months for Mississippi as far as COVID-19 deaths go. We lost around 1,000 1, people to the virus. As for hospitalizations, they are higher than ever. Governor Tate Reeves did acknowledge that, saying that we, that we have only one ICU bed available in the Jackson Metro. 355 current patients statewide are in the intensive care unit, and 1,369 are currently hospitalized. But the vaccine is on the way. That is some good news. There have been some delays that were acknowledged, but the health department is currently in step 1A of getting the vaccine out to health care workers and, and patients who are really vulnerable in hospitals or, or long-term care facilities. But by next week, those 75 and over can drive to one of 18 locations across the state for drive through vaccines and get their first injection. Then the week after, those over 65 can get it. These places include pharmacies and 174 private clinics. The cost of the vaccine is free, but there is an injection fee. However, that is covered by most insurance, which could be anywhere from 15 to 28 dollars, plus Medicare and Medicaid. And as for hospitals over capacity, MEMA and the governor did not rule out trying to look for private contractors to get more manpower if federal assets are not are taking too long. Um, the, the fact is that uh, we have had many conversations, including uh, within the last couple of hours, regarding what our options may be. Uh, we, are, we are looking at a number of different things. There's a, uh, there's a potential for um, a request that is outstanding to the federal government with respect to giving us uh, some access to some federal resources to open additional ICU beds uh, in, a, uh, in a community hospital that is, that is available. Uh, we've got uh, ability to do that. We just don't have the staffing at this time. Uh, so we've got... And these plans come as there are discussions about trying to expand hospitalization to lift the burden. UMMC is currently nine people over capacity in the intensive care unit, and the plans for mobile hospitals is not ruled off the table. The only ICU bed available in the entire Jackson Metro is at the St. Dominic Hospital. Live in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.